But of course, while I'm near this cave, I might as well explore and see what's going on inside, because there's something magical going on. Some sort of wizard or warlock or necromancers going, doing something. Okay. Hello. You're not friendly. You're not the friendly sort. Then. Maybe I need to get some defensive stuff on. Because at the moment I'm kind of running armorless. Not the cleverest thing to do now, is it? Okay. Until I get a good enchantment on that sword, I'm going to use that purely as a real backup weapon. So, Firebolt, Flames, Lesser Ward. There we go. And then four, I suppose, for the sword. There we go. That's more like it. Always a bit of an experiment to just to try and get things right. Yeah, that's better. I'm just gonna see if I can make a restore help health or magicka. That's better. Ouch, 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 ouch. That's not working so well. Still not quite figured it all out. <laughs> but then again, they are adept, so... Whoa, I just sort of backed straight out. <laughs> I 
Burn! Maybe I ought to use the old um, lightning. Where did I put lightning? I think I might have actually sort of moved it to a side menu. Yeah, I actually sort of not got rid of it, but you know what I mean. Okay. Restoration, healing. Ah, this is taking its toll. That was pretty good. Healing in one hand, lightning in the other. She just couldn't hack it. She just couldn't hack it. The lightning sucked all of her... Um, all of the magic away. And then, yeah. That was it. She couldn't do anything. Cool. Now this thing's taking a little bit more punishment. I'm guessing frost is the way to go. Die! Picking the element that you're using is very important. <laughs> it really, really is. Oof, my goodness. Lightning against enemy spellcasters get the opposing element against those Atronacts, whatever you want to call them. Oh my goodness. And accidental or intentional use of, uh, of zone exits, I suppose. <laughs> that really did save my bacon. Looks like we're getting somewhere now. I'll give it a go.
Swords will work quite well against mages as well. I still haven't been using Soul Trap, have I? I think I might do Zappy Thing with one hand, Soul Trap with the other, see if I can get a few souls in my gems. Ooh, we've got some random tasty treats. Or well, at least bits for experimenting with, anyway. Okay, some guy over there. Can't see anyone else. What do you think? A couple of big fire bolts. Actually, you know what? Unnecessary. Come on, into my fire trap. Over here. What is he doing? Ooh, nice moves, nice moves. I approve of your dodginess. He's healed himself. Cheeky little bugger. Oh, what am I doing there? I'm eating completely the wrong thing. Just a little bit of magicka. Okay, give him a magicka poison on the blade. Restore a bit of magic on myself. No, you're not. What you are is dying. Dwarven oil? I have never seen that before. Well, he was definitely up to something magical. And dead person related. <laughs> Dwarven Helmet of Magicka. For those who use heavy armour and also do magic. Meh. 
It's valuable. Dwarven bow, valuable. Braces of smithing, again, quite some. Yeah, that's good magical stuff. I, another soul gem, which I, of course, keep forgetting to fill with souls. Maybe I ought to start filling some wolf souls and things like that. Because I obviously got some small soul gems, which I can practice with. Get a few cheap souls in there. You know, saves up the big souls for when I've got uh, more skillage. Well, whatever he was doing, he isn't anymore. I'm just expecting more necromant well, more conjurers and summoners and everything. It would be reasonable to assume that there's more. Can't imagine that's it. Well, but then again, it, I don't think this area is a specifically. Um, I don't think it's a specific quest location, so I suppose it could be quite a small cave. That'll do. Got soul tapping in the off hand, lightning in the primary hand. If I come across another wizard, I will try my best to remember to take my time to... Oh, yeah. So it wasn't all just mages in here, there was some people who liked a bit of archery. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to enchant a little bit now. See if there's anything that... Uh... Oh, I can do the whole minor smithing, disenchant that. Oh, gained another level. More magicka, please. Um... I'm just thinking, well, what should I do? See, I, I got a skill recovery, which means my magicka regenerates quicker. I mean, that in itself is worth getting restoration just for that. I mean, having your magicka regenerate quicker, yes, please. Enchanting. See, I need to get that to, to climb the, the path, as it were, to climb up the tree and gain access to everything else. I, th I think... <laughs> You, I'm, I'm always umming and ahhing about these things, you know what I mean? I can do more damage. Oh. Fire damage causes targets to flee if their health is low. Shock spells you 25% more damage. Well, I think that might well be the one. No. Most destruction spells will stagger an opponent 
an opponent when dual cast. Ooh, that's an interesting one as well. I think I'm going to have to go with the shock damage doing more. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, I've got an extra perk. For whatever reason, I've got another one. And I'm going to do that staggering thing. So basically, if I'm dual wielding lightning now, it's going to be significantly powerful, for example. Right. Oh, I can enchant not very much, to be honest. I've got very little in the way of good stuff anymore. Uh, what I really need to do is just get some cheapy items and enchant them. I don't really have anything cheapy at the moment. I can go and... I think this guy may have a dagger and some boots. Yeah. Let's go enchant them. Boots, enchantment... Fortify stamina. Another lesser soul gem. Put this in the steel dagger and make it a. Oh, look at that! I could do magicka damage nowadays. That's probably what I would do, you know, keep the sword. I mean, I'm not going to do that now, but I could easily do that and keep the sword for sort of fighting mages. That would be quite good. And that's quite good as well. Look how I can really crank the damage up and then just keep it recharged with soul gems. I could even have two swords, I suppose. You know, one anti-mage and another one just, you know, causes extra damage, you know, with frost or fire or something. That's interesting. Cool, that makes that very valuable. Okay, I'm going to enchant this dwarven bow as well. Let's say fire damage. Slap a soul gem in it. Put the lesser soul gem in there. And these things I can sell for extra money anyway, can't I? Wow, starting to cause a lot of damage. Of course, I didn't refresh my um, bloody shield, did I? I'm just so forgetful. You know when you, you just get carried away with something? You know you're supposed to do it. You think to yourself, I know, I'll do that later, and you never do. No soul gem large enough. Also, the guy's pretty powerful then. Okay, I'm gonna go back and enchant a few of these items as well. Every little helps, because it gives me experience as well. So I figure, why not? If I use the steel dagger, Slap a magical enchantment on it.
No. Oh well, it was worth a shot. <laughs> yes, I don't know. Everyone's like, ah, I bet you wish you had your lockpicks now, don't you, mate? And I'm like, mm. not overly fussed, to be honest. Not, not massively fussed. Looks like I'm circled all the way back around. I'm just going to head back, sell a few things I suppose and, and job done.